hi guys you're welcome back to my channel yes i just concluded a night shift i decided to share how you can win your customers loyalty because of course community pharmacy you cannot actually rule out the fact that it is business because it entails transactions buying and selling although yes you're offering some professional services but at the same time you are doing business so and that's why you really need to win your customers over you really need some marketing skills to be able to keep your customers mm, and to win new ones and from my years in community practice i gathered a few experience that i just want to share here number one is that for you to keep your customers mm, you need to be able to satisfy them satisfy them in the sense that anything they come to ask anything they come to buy they should always get it like you should have all their requests readily available never say we don't have like don't you ever tell any customer that okay this product that you have come to buy out ah, we don't have it instead this is what you should do tell the customer it is out of stock like we have finished selling it but we want to get it can you wait hmm. can we get it for you tomorrow next week okay. always offer to get whatever products you don't have hmm? that way the customer gets some kind of satisfaction that okay it's not as if you don't sell it no we say you know get that product let me say you know they sell them do you get eh? now because you don't sell them finish because your business your market they sell well do you get eh? and now when you're offering the person the patient that you're going to get it so 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 did i watched somebody's video and she said that she has experienced disappointments lately and the very example this customer gave was that of a pharmacy where she went to get the product and they told her they did not have what they could help her get eh? Now, so they promised this person, may she come back the next week to get the product. She said she even gave them one week extra, say, okay, if I go there this week now and they don't get, make I give them one week extra to ensure that they get this product. At the end of the day, when this sister went to the pharmacy, mm, now social disappointment, they disappoint them. Like, they still no buy that product. And the thing, it pain them, so tell she come and discuss them for YouTube. Do you get? So me, I talk, say, in my years in community practice, this is the way I do it. If I promise you, say, we go get them for you, so, 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 date. I go try. Even if it means, say, that I go buy them from another store, way close to me, we get them and sell them same price. I go do them because uh, I won't win your loyalty. But at the same time, you know, some customers or some patients, who they get shoko for head. They go tell you, say, they go come back. Hmm? We go collect your number. We go get the product, we go they call you, call you, call you. You go pick or say you they come, you they come, hmm? and you no go ever come. Such customers eh? now them they make some of these shops or these pharmacies not to fulfill their promises. But this is the way you can go about it. When you promise somebody, say, ah, I go help you get ammo, instead of allowing the person to just go like that, the person will check elsewhere. The person will check the next place, even though she don't give you a word, say she go come back. If she finds it there, she don't go come back. Even though you, you go get it, you know, go come pick them. But if you tell them, say, I beg, madam, you feel drop commitment. You feel pay the money. I don't know how much this thing will cost for market now ahead. But if you pay, at least pay so, so, so amount to know that you are committed to coming back. Hmm. If this patient really wants to come back, he or she will be willing to put down some commitments. And by so doing, they know, say, you get their money for and who no go come back. They go come back to pick them up. So that is one. Number two points is say, hmm, what is private should be left private. When you're attending to your customer, you know that pharmacy is my case study now. When you're attending to a customer in community setting, and the customer be like, say, oh, my my bomb bomb, this back of my bomb bomb, I get rash for that place. Not before where everybody did, you go, they say, okay, uh, can I see the place? That's why we have the consulting room every community pharmacy has a small room that is private where you can invite a patient to discuss private matters and not they do a uh, blind treatment when it comes to something you can't view physically because by so saying by saying okay make we enter the private room make, make i check him the person go 
have confidence in you, say, yes, this person knows what she or she did. Okay, make I check him to see. Now, for Galo, I be sure you look like bacteria rash or you look like a scabies. Oh, make I check you. Eh, eh. By so doing, you go boost the patient's morale. Sure, you get. Eh, eh. That is number two. Number three, be say, hmm. I know say you get target too. For some of you who get target for community, I know say even as personal sole proprietor, you get your own personal business. You will set target for yourself. But please don't let your sense of making money overrule your sense of professionalism try to know your limits when it is time to refer a patient you know they say because you won't make money you know go refer them remember pharmaceutical is a responsible provision of what so know when to draw the line know when to refer a patient for laboratory test and know when to refer a patient back to the doctor. It's not every case, not every medical condition we can undo, mm, to be honest with you. So know your limits. You have to keep on a smiling face at all times at work. When you are happy or when you are not happy, you just have to smile. By so doing, your patients will be relaxed when they come. Eh? They will not be anxious. They will not be nervous. Even they won't be curious like, ah, pharmacist, are you sick? Is something, or are you also fine? Mm -hmm. So when they see you happy and joyful all the time, it is it is suits them like it is like medicine. Even the scripture says it. Mm -hmm. That good words are like medicine. So if you are hungry, you know it, you can actually transfer aggression at your customers or to your customers. But if you are happy, your joy will radiate, and they will also catch the aura. Do you get? <laughs> Lastly, is that as pharmacists, once you leave pharmacy school like this. Except the, re the recent development where they said we should start taking online MCPD courses. Otherwise, once you leave pharmacy school like this, it's just like your learning just comes to a halt. Upgrade yourself. As a community pharmacist, you need to attend seminars. Hmm? If your boss is not giving you the opportunity to attend seminars, it's not helping you. She's not helping you. I remember my days in community practice. Ah, those seminars, eh? They are eye openers, oh. They will upgrade your knowledge. You know, go you know, go be like say now nah, nineteen borrow knowledge you still get for head. Eh? Dosage regimen, treatment regimen, everything they change. Eh? You know that everything is fast changing. When you leave school, your head go day hot, you go no book, everything go day your head. But one, two, three years down the line, it be like say everything, eh? Now that thing where you learned for three, five years ago still day your head. Hmm? Upgrade your knowledge. I hope to see you in my subsequent videos.